What's up everybody, it's me Blake316 with another 316 reviews of Rocket League for the PlayStation 4. Now if I had one word to sum up this game, it would absolutely just be fun. It's a fun game and I totally recommend it. This game is building up a lot of buzz, a lot of people are talking about it. As time passes, more and more people are realizing how much fun this game is. And honestly, if you want a game that's quick and easy to get into and give you instant fun, I totally recommend this game for you. And I'll be honest, when I first heard about this game, I seen it was about soccer and cars. I was like, this honestly can't be fun. But then, being that it was a free game on PlayStation Network, I tried it out for myself, and you know what? I haven't been disappointed yet. As you see right now, there's a garage menu where you can customize your car from the body to decals to rims. Uh, you can put little flags and little decorations on your car to kind of make your car stand out from the other car. One disappointment is, None of these uh, options actually improve your car, like the tires don't make your car faster, they don't make your car stick on the track better, but it, it's, it's a, it, at least it's there for I can at least customize my car and make it look different. But I would have liked, liked it, you know, to make it give my car special abilities. But I guess they're trying to keep an even playing field of, the, of all the other racers from beginners and to the intermediate and advanced, therefore everyone at the end of the day has the same car. But, as far as the gameplay, it's really, really fun. To, to break down the game, like I said, it's soccer with cars. There's different options. You can do one versus one. You can do two versus two. You can do three versus three. Um, my particular uh, go-to mode is the three versus three online. I mean, it's instant fun. Everyone is like total chaos. Everyone is trying to score a goal. And honestly, I mean, it's, it's non-stop action. There's also a season mode where you can do a season. Um, I'm not really into that. I just like, like I said, I want to pick it up and play right away. So I do the three on three uh, online multiplayer. One complaint is um, the, the game is really quiet as far as chat. They do give you the ability to do send texts through the, uh, during the game and you can also use your microphone. But unfortunately not many people use the microphone, which leads into another complaint. Being that no one really uses the microphone, this is a game if people did use the microphone, the game, you would have such a better team being able to, uh, you know, communicate with your teammates and, you know, have better opportunities to steal, uh, score goals. Because sometimes you'd be on a path to score a goal and your teammates so excited to score a goal, they'll totally take that goal away from you and before you know it, neither one of you actually score a goal. That's a one complaint. Um, being that there's also no voice chat, one game, one thing that this game is lacking is music. I wish there was like really cool, exciting, you know, techno type of music or maybe even rock music that I think that would really make the game a little bit more funner and make you a little bit more engaged with it. Yes, I can put on my Pandora or Spotify, but me, I like to hear the sound effects of the game. I like to hear my car moving. I like to hear the boost of the car. And if I put on those other uh, things, it's kind of going to block out those sound effects so I wish the developers themselves would include the music into the game but that being said other than music and people not talking about mics I don't really have any other negatives about this game it is a fun and it's quick to get into game the cars there's different abilities there's a boost ability and a jumping where you can totally boost into the ball and try to score it into the goal if somebody's trying to you know score a goal you can totally jump and block it out of your way there's two different types you can play different positions you know you can be aggressive and also always trying to be on offense to score a goal or you can just play behind on the goal line and totally play goalie it's totally up to you there's not like any type of all sides where you're forced to do one particular thing um it's really fun the cars themselves control really well um there is different arena environments, such as like there's like street courses and there's uh, there's grass courses. But depending on the course, it really doesn't matter. Your controls, your car still controls the same. Um, turning is really solid. They do give you kind of a slide turn, so you can make really sharp turns, or you can just do regular uh, wide turns. There is a boost system where it allows you to give your car give your car a more speed. Um, as far as speed, I feel like the cars go the perfect uh, speed itself. You really feel the boost, but at the same time, when you don't use the boost, there's really a good uh, sense of speed in the gameplay. There's, like I said, um, 3 and 3 action, it's total chaos, it's total fun. Visually, the game doesn't look too impressive. Um, it, it's a PlayStation 4 game as well as a PC game, but at the end of the day, it is a, um, it's not like a AAA title. You know, it's an indie developer making their own game, so you can't really expect 
too much amazing graphics, but at the same time, it's a good looking game, but it's nothing amazing that's going to blow you away. It's not, I don't know, Mario Kart 8 as far as visually. But obviously, you know, visually, graphics don't matter. It's all about the gameplay. And this is one exciting, fun game. As you see in this game, crazy goals. It's like non-stop, like action. And you can really get on a real streak where you're uh, scoring goals. Um, the ball itself has really great physics. I feel that the ball is actually has really awesome physics to change my wording around. Um, the ball has really solid bounces where it can bounce really high, it can bounce really low. If you if you drive in and drive into it too far, you know not only will it go extremely far, but it will actually bounce in the air, kind of realistic. If you want to control the ball, you totally can. So I totally give up. The developer developer is probably. Uh, a plus on probably the hardest part of the game, which is having the ball physics. They did a really great job. Um, honestly, I'm I'm really surprised how much fun this game is. I, I totally recommend it. I have been recommending it to uh, people I know. Like, oh, uh, this game is uh, free on PlayStation Network. Go check it out. Now, I know it's only free for a month, and uh, I know the price tag is going to be $19.99. Does the game justify that price tag? It's kind of hard to say being that I got it for free. Uh, I'll be honest, I'm not really a downloadable game type of guy. So if this game uh, wasn't free, I probably would have never gave it a chance. But luckily it was, and you know what? If you, want, if you don't have PlayStation Network, and if you do want a fun game, so just pick up and play right away, and it's gonna give you uh, you know, some hours of fun, I would totally recommend it. But it's me, Blake316. I would give this game a seven out of 10, um, cause it's a fun game. But honestly, it is what it is. It's just like a soccer game with cars. But that being said, it's completely fun. It's going to give you some hours worth of fun. Until next time, make sure to subscribe to future videos. Peace.